Okay, hi everyone and welcome to a brand new video. So in this video, we're going to explore yet another database problem. So we want to differentiate between the Firebase real-time database versus the Cloud Firestore, both great databases offered to us by Firebase. And we want to be able to choose one, choose the appropriate one for our mobile application or our project or our startup. Because as developers, it's important to make good choices before you dive headfirst into a new project. You never want to be someone who goes for a certain database, for example, and then has to migrate all of their data to a new database and learn all of its new tips and tricks halfway through your journey. So this is why I'm doing this video. This is why I attempt to help you with this. And let's just get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually discuss the options at hand. What options do we have? So we have the Firebase real-time database versus the Cloud Firestore. And there are two services provided by Firebase. They are great databases and they can be used without a solid backend. Firebase itself is a backend as a service, meaning you can use it for, for all sorts of backend operations that you need. And the database is one of them. Now, the real-time database is actually the first and the original Firebase database. So this is what the company Firebase represented during its birth. However, later on, this company was acquired by Google in 2014, I believe. And then Cloud Firestore is a product rolled out by Firebase after this acquisition. So it's the sort of newer release by Firebase. So what are the similarities between the two databases before we dive headfirst into the differences between them? So they're both very simple to use and integrate. So these are databases that are extremely popular in the freelance community, in the uh, app mobile app dev community, mainly because they are so simple to use. So if you're a person and you're doing your own application, so it's your first project, your first real big application you're launching into the app store and you really want to do something worthwhile. However, you are an engineer on your own trying to do this or maybe a couple of friends, then this is probably the way to go because it's very simple. It does not require as many lines of code as the more complex enterprise databases, you could say. So that's why it's very popular in this area because it is so simple once again. Now, they're both cloud-hosted NoSQL databases. So your data will be, ha will be housed on the cloud, and this is a NoSQL database. For more on NoSQL databases, you can refer to a video I have, specifically detailing and explaining NoSQL, what it is, how it works, the different types of NoSQL, and some examples. So I'll link that down below. Feel free to check it out if you're interested. They both have real-time support. So even though only the real-time DB has the name they has the word real-time in its name, both of these databases offer fantastic real-time support. So they sync in real-time, meaning at any point in time, your user is viewing the current state of the data. They also both have offline support, meaning if your user lo loses connection, they can still access the last synced data into the application. All right, so, so far, so good. So these are the sort of similarities between them. Another similarity is that they both have JSON-like structures. However, this structure may differ between the different databases. How and why, we'll discuss this right in a minute, but this is just something to keep in mind, that these are the similarities between these two databases. So if you're looking for these, if um, your project just ticks all the marks for these, then you're probably in, on the right track trying to choose between a Firebase database. So you know you want to use Firebase, good for you. So differences in the structure between these two great databases. So we said that they both use JSON-like structure. How, but how does this JSON-like structure differ? Now, just one thing, I have a video detailing JSON and all its details and components. So I'll link that down below as well. So feel free to check it out if you're not as familiar with JSON as the average programmer. So just do, do that if you want, and hopefully this will give you some better insight on JSON itself. So how does the structure differ? The real-time database actually uses JSON. It houses the data as one large JSON tree, meaning there's a root node and then there are other child nodes and the child nodes are like similar to JSON key value pairs where the values can be nested JSON objects or JSON arrays. So if you don't get any of this, just go to the JSON video and I'm sure you'll be a JSON professional in no time. All right, so this is sort of how the real-time database stores the data. 
Meanwhile, the cloud Firestore stores the data as collections of JSON documents. So you have JSON documents. Each document is maybe a certain data point, you could say. And then you have collections of these documents. So multiple co collections. Each collection houses multiple documents. Meanwhile, the database itself in the real-time database is just one large JSON tree one large root node with a bunch of hierarchical child nodes. So this is a very hierarchical database. Both of these databases are actually hierarchical. It just differs in the way that they are structured. It differs in the architecture. All right. So now that you want to choose between these two databases, now you know exactly what each database is, the similarities, the differences. Now you want to choose. So in order to choose, I have put together four main questions you should ask yourself. So when you're watching this video, sort of mentally tick the marks for each database, depending on what need of yours for your app or startup it satisfies. And by the end, you can compare the scores of these databases and decide exactly which one you should use. So the first question you should ask is how complex is your data? Now, data complexity is an integral part in choosing the database here. This is because there is a huge difference in the complexity available in each of these databases. Firebase Real-Time Database is actually perfect for simple and flat data. So if you have a very basic app, a very basic database requirement, this is definitely your guy. This is definitely the database that you need to use because the data is very flat and simple. When I say flat, I mean that it is shallow, it is not heavily nested. So when I say hierarchical, you, you never go like six children deep. It's very, very, very flat. So it's like maybe one or two childs deep, maybe a third maximum, but that's it. We have a lot of denormalization involved, meaning a lot of data is repeated just to keep things flat, just to keep things okay with each other. All right. Meanwhile, the Cloud Firestore is actually better for complex hierarchical data because of the way we get to define documents into these different complex collections of data. This is how you get a better support for complex hierarchical data. And you don't need to denormalize your data, meaning you don't have to duplicate the same data in multiple places just so you can be a flatter structure and satisfy simple queries. So for large complex data, you go for Firestore. For simple data, you go for real-time database. The second question is, what types of queries do you need? So the same way that data is structured in a simple way in real-time DB versus Firestore, real-time database also has simple queries. And Cloud Firestore has richer, more advanced querying. So depending on the structure that we have, we have queries as well. Because we denormalized our data and flattened it in the real-time database, this is why we go for simple queries so that we can just query this very flat, and denormalized data. Meanwhile, Cloud Firestore is complex, so we need complex querying. And when we say complex querying, we mean that we can combine the different queries and conditions with advanced sorting capabilities, as well as with advanced transactions. This is not really the case in Firebase Real-Time DB, where you can't really combine the advanced querying and sorting. So the types of queries you need, if your application is all about the data, all about the analysis, all about querying, then you go for Firestore. If not, and you really just need a database because you need some certain data stored, then Realtime DB is your guy here. The next question is how big will your app be? So Firebase Realtime Database is scalable, as is Cloud Firestore. Now the main difference here is the cost. So scalability is okay in both. It is done in different ways because Firebase Real-Time Database uses sharding, which is a technique for sort of dividing the data among different servers. However, the scalability differs in the sense of the uh, financial requirement. So Firebase Real-Time Database is expensive as you grow whereas Cloud Firestore is sort of cheaper as you grow. So maybe in this case, this is probably the goal for everyone to have a cheaper service. So you would probably go with Cloud Firestore here because as your app grows, as your startup grows, as you become a big, better and bigger company, you will, be a, you will require much more volumes of data and you will need a sort of better and cheaper option. So you will go for Cloud Firestore here. The fourth question is how important is offline data? Now, some applications do not care about offline data, meaning you don't want the data synced locally to your user's device just in case they go offline. 
However, a lot of applications require it. Both of these have off offline support. Both of them are just as good. However, Cloud Firestore has more sophisticated offline support, more sophisticated queries on local data. So again, if that's an important thing to you, important for your app, you go for Cloud Firestore. All right. So some final thoughts that you must keep in mind even before you decide. So as an engineer or as a programmer or whatever you name yourself, you can actually learn both. And it's actually not that hard to learn both. So you would not be wasting a lot of time learning these two different databases as they aren't extremely distinct from each other. So you will notice a lot of overlaps when learning them. So if you can learn both, then do it. I support you because it's actually a great idea. Another thing to keep in mind is that they are both good and solid databases that you can involve in your app or project. So do not just say that I don't want to use this one because it's bad. They're both good, but they each have their strengths and weaknesses. And a final point, a final very important point to keep in mind in this case is that both of these databases can be still not as good as other SQL databases or other no SQL databases. So I say this because, like for example, even though the Cloud Firestore provides rich and advanced querying, it is nowhere near as advanced in querying as SQL databases or another NoSQL database such as MongoDB. So MongoDB provides extremely complex and uh, rich querying capabilities. So in that case, it, Firebase is still not as great as these, even with both database options. If you're interested in comparing Firebase versus MongoDB, I have a video on exactly that, and it's structured very similar to this video, in which you ask yourself four questions to choose the best database for your app, so I'll link that down below. Anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. Please let me know if you managed to choose a better database for your app or project. I would really love to know that I actually influenced your decision and I helped you make it. And please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and bye.